Pharmacy. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the subjects required for you to study pharmacy. I completed the first year of pharmacy before I started medicine. Coming into pharmacy school, the things you'll be learning is the structure of drugs, looking at the chemical structure, carbon chains, how the structure of these drugs actually affects the human body and where the drug actually goes to once it goes inside the body, how the body gets rid of the drug, how it changes it before it gets rid of it, and some of the side effects and things you have to think about, especially when it comes to medication. You'll be learning about prescribing, looking at prescriptions, trying to find mistakes and prescriptions as well. Your learning is based on going to lectures, you'll also be going to labs where you'll be doing such things like making paracetamol and you'll also be involved in a practical side of things such as going to pharmacies and going into hospitals. In terms of subjects when it comes to pharmacy the grade requirements are usually BBC ranging all the way to three A's. A level subjects that you want to think about we're going to think about it as non-negotiables, ones that are highly recommended and looked for by most unis and then category three will be subjects that you can choose off and then category four are ones you definitely should not do. Now non-negotiables when it comes to pharmacy first First and foremost is chemistry. This degree has a lot of chemistry based within it, even especially in the first year, you'll be expected to have A-level knowledge and you'll be building upon your A-level knowledge, doing even more complicated chemical structures. So it's important for you to have chemistry. And most universities really require chemistry and without chemistry, it's really hard for you to get into the normal course. Second A-level that is recommended is biology. Not all universities require biology. You can get away without doing biology, but I would recommend doing biology and studying biology at A-level when you get into pharmacy school you're needing to do a lot of physiology so applying the chemistry of the drug how it interacts with the body and what physiological reactions are going to happen and understanding normal physiology will allow you to know when things are wrong when somebody's having side effects and something is going wrong so definitely doing biology is important but by all no means is not something that every university looks for now for your third a levels these are your negotiables for your third a level these are ones that you can make a choice on so you can start off with arts things like history english language literature, art, music, you can look at doing even more sciences, so you can do physics as a third A level, which will help as some of the practicals you'll be looking at how fast molecules move compared to other ones. You'll be doing stuff like mass spectrometry, looking at how molecules move and their fraction and how you can identify what kind of a molecule it is, depending on how it fragments. So doing physics is something that would be very useful as well. Other things that you can study are maths as a third A level, as you'll be doing a lot of calculations, a lot of drug calculations, and being able to do maths very quickly getting the drug calculations done well is good you'll be working with a lot of models trying to work out how drugs are distributed in the space so within compartments first second third compartments a lot of formulas a lot of rearranging formulas so doing maths is very useful me myself i didn't do maths and i was just fine so it's not one that you must do but it will be beneficial third category that you can look into are social sciences so we're looking at economics sociology and psychology those kinds of subjects now subjects for you to definitely avoid are general studies and critical thinking universities usually don't like these subjects as you know they don't think they test you enough, they push you far enough, so I would avoid these. Moving on to GCSEs, you're required to have a grade C or a level four or grade B slash level six. Usually most universities will actually require you to have a grade B in English and maths as communication is important and also having good mathematical skills, especially if you haven't done A-levels is useful. The entry requirements for you to get into pharmacy is usually BBC ranging up to AAA. If you find yourself that you haven't quite scored within those grades and you still want to do pharmacy, school there are a couple of options of schools that you can look into some of them are Liverpool, Portsmouth, Wolverhampton and Brighton and these they usually offer some entry requirements such as three C's at A levels if you still haven't managed to secure a place or you haven't done quite the right A levels there might be a few ways for you to get into pharmacy school one of the ways to get into pharmacy school especially if you've missed your grades you can have a look at clearing this happens after results day where some of the people haven't actually met their offers universities have a few places left behind I myself actually got into Bath University via clearing for those of you who either have come from areas which are tough, haven't, haven't done quite well at school due to things out of their own control, or those of you who actually haven't done the sciences required for you to be accepted into pharmacy schools such as chemistry, you can consider a pharmacy foundation program. So you do a year of general sciences and then be fed into the pharmacy program afterwards. Universities that are have these programs that you can look into are East Anglia, Manchester, Reading and Kent. Just to bounce back and do a quick summary of the A-level 
subjects that you should be looking into. So first and foremost, highly recommend chemistry. It's a non-negotiable. You must study chemistry if you want to get through to pharmacy via the normal route. Biology is a second A level that's highly recommended. You don't have to have done it, but it's fairly beneficial due to the physiology aspect of pharmacy. And for your third A level, you can either choose from doing an additional science such as physics, or you can think about doing maths. You can do an art such as history, English literature, English language, music, or even fine art. You can think about doing a social science such as economics, psychology or sociology. Subjects to avoid critical thinking and general studies. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you want me to do a video on any other subjects and the entry requirements, I'll be gladly happy to do so.